I see hundreds of portfolios and in this video, I wanna share with you the five that I like most over the last year. And as I show you these websites, I want you to pay attention to three things specifically that I think make these websites stand out in 2025. The first one is the use of video in the website. The second one is adding playfulness and personality to the website. And third one, breaking the traditional grids to create some interesting layouts. Let's dive into the first website. These are all built in Webflow and they're a Webflow agency. The first one is Tonic. The first thing is that the main call to action here is to actually watch a showreel that loads here on the hero section. And I love this. I think videos sell our work much faster than scrolling through a website. Obviously lots of logos create a lot of trust. And as we're getting here, we're getting into the work. And again, notice the untraditional grid that we have here. And one interesting thing is as you hover over the work, a video starts playing to show you the work. And one more interesting thing about this interaction, a lot of times we would hover on top of a project to reveal more information. But as you can see here, as we were hovering on top of it, the text actually hides itself so that we can focus on the actual work rather than on the text. I think this is a beautiful layout, great use of video. And as we're getting down here after the work, sometimes by the way, adding testimonials to add more social uh, trust and proof. That's a really great way to sell on your portfolio. Here's another testimonial next to the work. And as you can see, this broken grid is really, really nice. Helps you to focus each time on a different work. Then we get their services. And what I really like is here at the end, we ship like machines, but hug like humans. This is where they're adding their personality. Again, breaking the grid, creating a little bit of an overlay, but it doesn't look messy. It actually looks fun and brings a lot of personality in here. So really makes you want to work with them. I think this is a phenomenal portfolio. The second one that I wanna show you is this one. It's called We Are Boring. And again, we're starting off with this playful experience that we can play around with these words here, a digital agency creating unique web experiences. And as we're scrolling, we're getting to see the work and they're kind of like, kind of a parallax effect as we're scrolling through them just to wow us with the abilities. So always starting with the work is really, really impressive. Then we're going down here. And again, here you can notice this use, this use of untraditional grid. Each one of these works is a different size, um, but it's not messy, it's clean. It's a really great use of grid in a non-traditional way and with a really nice interaction, then getting a little bit about the personality of you know, the owner and logos. So here's another really, really great portfolio. The next one that I wanna show you is this one, Conpo. And that's, they wanna start off immediately with the play reel, right? So you can click it, immediately you're in video because as I said, video sells really, really good. You can also skip this, but even as you're getting into the website, they show you the video and as you're scrolling, they want you to focus on the video. They know how important video is in selling your work. So presenting your work in video and adding a little bit of motion graphic is so important in 2025. As we're scrolling through this, we're getting into the services and we've got these playful interactions that we have here with the background, which is really, really nice. And then also, you see that we have this visual language with the dots, which is consistent throughout the portfolio. And that's really, really nice. And again, selected work. Again, you'll notice this use of a, a grid that shows two different images. You're scrolling on top of this. Again, a video. Note how many of these portfolios use video to showcase the work and makes it really, really impressive, right? And also, what a nice way to show two different images, a lot, it's so common to just show one screenshot of a project, but it's so nice to be able to show two images in a nice composition. So really, really nice grid showing the work. And yeah, logos, of course, that's always selling, testimonials that you're scrolling through them, background is changing, another nice way to create this interaction. And that's it. Really, really great work for Conpo. Just want to break it down and give a quick shout out to the Webflow Masterclass. If you want to be able to build websites and portfolios like this, you got to check out the Webflow Masterclass to be able to build 
high-end professional websites with Webflow. Let's dive into the next one. The next one is Stealth. And what I like about this is that while so many websites today try to be very, very clean and premium, they went into the hardcore pixelated font. Again, you can see the use of video, but really, really bold, not round corner. These corners are chiseled and it creates a really, really bold effect. It doesn't look bad. It looks actually bold and gives a statement to who they are and the, the bold nature of their work. Again, note, they're not even using images. It's all just video. Very, very important uh, today. And also really great use of a grid starting off on different columns. Really, really beautiful. And also the use of red makes this very, very bold. So I think that the the brand here works as a very, very strong, uh, bold brand. Last website that I really like is this one by Refocus. And it starts off with this 3D elements that you can play with, but also you can see that as you're playing around with it, the different services that they offer show and reveal. So immediately you know what this agency is about while you're playing in the hero. As we're scrolling, again, video, and this time a personal video to show who they are before we're jumping right into the work. In this case, they created this visual language of glassy elements here. So again, very, very personal, very, very unique to their brand. And another great way to showcase projects, we've seen this before, a broken grid with multiple images. How impressive that is when you're showing um, multiple images of a project and you're using video. So we've got everything that we've seen so far combined in this website. Broken grid, multiple images, use of video, um, very, very impressive. Each one of these has their own color, so it looks very, very unique and impressive. Beautiful way to showcase the work. Um, and then finally, a little bit about the agency itself, numbers, and yeah, a little bit about the agency. I think these websites are using these three elements that I've mentioned, video, playfulness, and personalization, and breaking down the grid to create really impressive and amazing work. And I think that is required in 2025. Let me know in the comments which one you liked best, and I'll see you in the next video.